for the best medical and paramedical lectures subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay connected with us hello friends today we will discuss about fatty liver fatty liver in this picture we can see the difference between healthy liver and fatty liver fatty liver is also known as hepatic steatosis liver is the commonest site for accumulation of fat liver plays the central role in fat metabolism depending upon the cause and accumulation fatty changes may be mild and reversible or severe producing irreversible cell injury which can lead to cell death etiology fatty changes in the liver may result from one of the two type of causes first condition with excess fat this are condition in which the capacity of the liver to metabolize fat is exceeded as follows obesity diabetes mellitus congenital hyperlipidemia liver cell damage this are the conditions in which fat cannot be metabolized due to liver cell injury as follows alcoholic liver disease which is the most common starvation protein calorie malnutrition reyes syndrome hepatotoxins example carbon tetrachloride chloroform ether and other poisons symptoms it includes weight loss fatigue tiredness pain in the upper right side of the abdomen pathogenesis mechanism of fatty liver depends upon the stage at which the etiologic agent act in the normal fat transport and metabolism hence pathogenesis of fatty liver is best understood in the light of normal fat metabolism in the liver lipid as a free fatty acid form enter the liver cell from either of the following sources number a from diet as chylomicrons which contain triglycerides and phospholipids and as free fatty acids number b from adipose tissue as free fatty acids normally a small part of fatty acid is also synthesized from acetate in the liver cells most of the free fatty acid is esterified to triglyceride this esterification takes place by the action of alpha glycerophosphate only a small part of fatty acid is changed into cholesterol phospholipid and ketone bodies this cholesterol phospholipid and ketones are used in the body while intracellular triglyceride are converted into lipoproteins this conversion takes place with the help of lipid acceptor protein lipoprotein are released from the cell into the circulations as plasma lipoprotein that is low density lipoprotein and very low density lipoprotein in this chart we can see that free fatty acid is entering from diet as well as from adipose tissue and a few amount of fatty acid is also entering from the liver through acetate now most of the free fatty acid is converted into the triglyceride with the help of alpha glycerophosphate and a few amount of fatty acid is also converted into cholesterol phospholipid and ketone bodies which are used up in the body this triglyceride is converted into the lipoprotein with the help of lipid acceptor protein now this lipoprotein is released into the circulation in the form of low density lipoprotein and very low density lipoprotein in fatty liver intracellular accumulation of triglyceride takes place hence there is no conversion of triglyceride into lipoproteins it occurred due to defect at one 
or more of the following the step in normal fat metabolism increase entry of free fatty acid into the liver from diet as well as from the adipose tissue increase synthesis of free fatty acid by the liver through acetate decrease conversion of fatty acid into ketone bodies which results in increase esterification of fatty acid into triglyceride increase alpha glycerophosphate causing increase esterification of fatty acid to triglyceride now decrease synthesis of lipid acceptor protein which results in decreased formation of lipoprotein from triglycerides and number 6 block in the excretion of lipoprotein from liver into the plasma in most of the cases of fatty liver one of the above mechanism is operating but liver cell injury from chronic alcoholism is multifactorial as follows increase lipolysis increase free fatty acid synthesis decrease triglyceride utilization decrease free fatty acid oxidation to ketone bodies and a block in lipoprotein excretion even severe form of fatty liver may be reversible but if the liver is given time to regenerate and progressive fibrosis has not developed yet for example intermittent drinking is less harmful because the liver cells get time to recover thank you do like leave a comment and share with your friends